It's where them things are come from. Meanwhile, a big sound I play. A alkaline music I play on the bus. And everybody are going like, yes, okay. It's today we're going to die. So we could just have fun. I got dance and I'll be merry. No, Jamaican people. As we seek. We seek Rasta. There's no way. Oh, 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 oh the people there. Oh, oh, oh. All right. We could talk about crime. Because everything right now is crime. If you tell a man to move, if you tell a man to Virgin, oh, you're just a bad right? Oh, you're just, you're in a, a coaster bus with how much people right about, and you drive up on the road. Him say, motor, but you're trying to box pull out a man mouth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to box pull out a man mouth. You can't say anything, you know. You're all right. You're work all right for him and all them. Really. But, oh, 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 reach this out. Oh, I'm not think. Oh, 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 I'm not think. This is Mota Baruka. We want to present to you a wholesome kind of level of consciousness right now. So, subscribe and tell your friend them. This is Mota Baruka. Disrespect for life. And the way you see the youth in Maguan, especially in the dance hall. They, 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 they kind of almost beast like behavior in the dance hall amongst the youth them. Because the man them, the man them not dancing with woman, you know. The whole of the man them stretch out and a dance, and the woman them a cock up them bumper and a dance to show how much them can have the biggest bumper to make the man them see. And when the man a dance with the woman, it's the most beast like dancing, you see. It's weird, you know. Think about it, think about it. Man a dance, them dance with man. Everybody, has, mm. and uh, you, you know, let me there's something almost like gay looking kind of dance though. Let, 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 let them a dance. All right, the woman them a dance. Them don't dance with no woman. They, they, sorry, them don't dance with no woman. And them don't dance with no man. Them they, they, them a show them look solo dancing and them cock up them thing in the dance hall and thing. When them decide say them a go dance with one another. When the woman decides to go dance with a man, the man. It's the most beast like dancing. You see, the, the, the man show the woman her foot gone over there, so I'll stretch, gone with can't stretch. And the man did it so, and the man, yeah, 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 like him a play jackhammer, like him is a jackhammer. I, I, one of them, you know, them armor that we had dig hole. You know, I, I mean, that's about to be it. What is? A man stand up on one box over there, so I jump on the woman. A man run like him, a run like you see and and the woman cock out over there, so, and the man run down and a roof and jump on her. And so he dancing the woman, you know. And the woman did they love it, you know. The woman love it. The woman lay down from the ground and make the woman die from top of him. The man die from top of him. Oh, what is? Oh, oh, where is this? Oh? And it's a normal behavior. You can't some people say, Muta, where are Muta going over them something? Oh, you understand? It's, it's, it's one thing lead to the next. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a system. The breakdown in the system comes from one place and it falls on to the next place, to the next place, to the next place. That everything looks normal. The abnormal is starting to look normal. Things that are abnormal start to look normal. But you are listening to the Black Radar YouTube channel. No, me really, I try to figure out the, the mindset of Jamaican people. Um, I want to talk about Jamaican people now. I can put it straight up. We are talking about people who make up the majority of the population now. We are not talking about red people, brown people, uptown people. Whatsoever the kind of people they want to call them, educated people. We are talking about really the normal Jamaican who make up the majority of the population. There's something intrinsically wrong with the mindset. The mindset of the majority of Jamaican people. And the something is called indiscipline. Indiscipline. We have an indiscipline set of people in Jamaica where them do have no etiquette, them do have no form of understanding about self-esteem, pride, security. And we see laws in place to deal with certain things. But obviously, the powers that be I'm starting to believe, say, even the gun, gun killing we are going on in Jamaica. I am starting to believe that them have this attitude. Well, we hear sleepy say it. We hear sleepy say it, you know. I mean, I wonder if it's something where embedded in these people's mind where them say, it's gunman, I kill gunman. Sleepy say it. Don't sleepy say it. Yeah, sleepy say, it's gunman, I kill gunman. In other words, look at now. Uno don't bother scared. The gunman never come for Uno. It's gunman that kill gunman. But here you know. 
I want to tell Sleepy something, you know, say. You have something named collateral damage in a war. And even though we're not in war now, but the majority of people who the gunman kill, just like our ISIL, the majority of people that ISIL, that Islamic terrorist group, the majority of people that the Islamic terrorists them kill is Muslims. It's mostly Muslim them kill. The majority of people that gunman kill is not the people them who them go for. It's people who don't do them nothing. Two year old pick the four year old pick the some called woman and all them things. Them go for your family and kill the family. They have nothing to do with them. So when sleepy, I talk about gunman and kill gunman, it does not appease the soul and the minds of people who live in a certain community. Now, I start to believe, say, gunman really a kill gunman. That's why it can't stop. Because the authorities say, since it's gunman a kill gunman, they make them go and kill one another. It not have nothing to do with the wider cross section because tourists still are coming. The tourism says season not get less because gunman are killed because gun crime are gone. As a matter of fact, it has been reported that this year tourist season is a bumper tourist season. That is what I hear the other one, William, Mr. Barclay. Yeah, say. And them say business is booming, investment is coming into the island. The Chinese is doing more development. So apparently, them don't want the gun crime to stop. Because it's gunman, I kill gunman. And if two little innocent people get dead, by the way, what is two little innocent people when the tourism is boosting? There are more tourists now going to see in Trench Town because they wanted to be near somewhere where Bob Marley and reggae music did flourish and all these things. No. May I say to the, 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 the majority of Jamaican people now, who is poor people, what is it that poor of poorness have to do with nastiness? I don't know. I, 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 me, a real town me come from. Me come from a real town. Patas Road. Me used to live at 19 Patas Road. Where me a little picnic. Me live at 19 Patas Road with my mother. Me and her alone live. You see when my mother clean the floor with a red oak and a polish and use a coconut brush and sign the floor you could have dropped butter upon the floor you got to take up the butter and eat it you saw you look on the yard a dirt you sweep you know no little leaf because we have a mango tree in there you know no, no leaf not there around nowhere you see garbage we don't know about garbage and throw away in a yard and throw beside the gate, you know. That not happen. With garbage there in front of my mother's yard. I don't know if you have a yard around here, you know. And a tenant yard. We live in a. And me ask about weird. How is it that poor people, the majority of Jamaican people in at this time, yeah, so nasty? How is it that a man are driving a taxi and I eat him curry goat and rice in a styrofoam box and I drink a box juice in a box and then end up done eat it and throw it through the window rasta? Pick it, pick it, pick it. Yeah, this is the stepping razor. So we'll come back to this nasty thing here. Yeah. Because it, it, it's, it's mind-boggling that... The majority, I mean, I say the minority now, it mind boggling that the majority of Jamaican people, especially poor people, will live in a day, poor communities, them relate to them environment the way you all may say them relate to them environment. From the program I start on the radio, we are talking about how we say, man, I drive on the road, and him just say, hold on the driver, me want peace. And him just jump out of the taxi. Like a dog, him go up on the people, them light posts, go ratting the people, them light posts. It's a local thing, them start put concrete light posts and all. Woman, same thing. A woman just jump out of the car, cock out of the darkness, and I do a shadow, and just go on like nothing not happen. You see, man, I sell food by the roadside, I peel cane and I chop jelly, and I sell chicken and this and that, and yes, about weird. 
when you want to pass a unit, when go, and when you get water for watching and all them something. And every day you're up on the radio, oh, wash your hand clean and empty all this and that, called the mosquito cheese and the mosquito that. I'm just Watch a man. Most Jamaican people no, have no consciousness about them surroundings. Because you can't see some of the women, them, you know. Some of the women, them, have on the, 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 the fingernail will cost enough money. The ear style will look like Beyonce. And them not smell good. Them don't smell good. You go beside them, you have to move. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, be facetious about these things. It's like a, it's like a well-kept tomb where you put a sort of root and the flowers look pretty upon it, but inside is dead. I mean, I understand. That's what, I don't know how to say this, you know. Maybe I should have called her wife, make sure to talk about that part. Yeah, because she have a thing to say about why certain women smell certain way. And because, oh, them, chop me everybody talk about that part. But I'm go back to this part. I'm going to go back to this part. I'm going to catch you. I'm going to run coming and that log will flee up the whole of Jamaica now, which is hard to say. But you know what I'm saying Because it's a serious thing. People, the majority of Jamaican people in a Jamaica, them spend time mostly for how them look, than how them feel, and how them smell, and how them think. Them no, them no business about the thinking and the feeling and the smelling because it's them thing they relate to your senses, you know. Senses. Smelling is a sense you understand tasting is a sense you know you want to feel it's a sense so it's you say somebody have on the pretty clothes and the pretty clothes and then them sit down in a car and a drink and just throw the thing outside let's all and them, them feel good can you imagine now you have some nasty nigger real nasty nigger Go all over at the craft market over there, so mm -hmm. them go at the craft market and go shit over at the craft market and the people them go turn it. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, <laughs> God, God, we can't talk about it. But you remember me that telling about the clean up thing from the early, yes, yeah, when me that work. No, may I say, may I say, filth, I should say filth or stool or what? You know, sorry, sorry, but I mean, really, actually, me, 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 me kind of a tremble because me I tell you, say the thing that I wear. Man go over the people them craft market in front of the hotel they saw what they call the hotel sandals mm -hmm. and go use it as tiny raster. When the people them come and lift up them things, them say filth and I need them. The man them who are sell them things pan the roadside they saw. Them just left the things them they saw rasta. Me not understand that. A human being that are some wild animal. I mean it's what it's what. It's what we do. Because, watch out now. We go, we go everywhere in the world. Festival. We have 10 times the amount of people there. So, I talk about like 50, 60, 70,000 people in a one space. And you see when the festival done, another festival could have started right there. So. You understand? In other words, you wonder if them people do not eat nothing. But they use bin. Yeah, of course they use bin. We, you put the bin there, you see more rubbish round the bin than in the bin. I saw Jamaica stay. You have big rubbish pan. I will look round the rubbish pan. You wonder, wait, it's where in there so why nobody not showed up in there? A deal we confronted with these things in a Jamaica. You're driving on the road and it's two lane of traffic. One going one way and the other one going the opposite way. And it's a series of traffic. It's a series of traffic. Dep on the road in a line because the white line in a the the white line in a the um the white line in a the road if you know anything about driving when it's a straight white line you cannot overtake that is what I learned and I never gonna license in school to learn that 
That when you have a white line that it is not broken, you're not supposed to overtake. So you have a streamer car a drive go up the road. Not overtaking. And all of a sudden you don't see a coaster bus on the other side of the road. And you wonder I went since the road I turned one way. Because you can't believe say a man so crazy with so much people in the van. And yes or no. Because you see no, you know, you're gonna make a wrong move to go over more upon your left side. Which sometimes you really realize what we have to go over too much and have to come back. But then you realize boy, this man in my race and need a coaster bus to go reach at the next stop. And you know the problem with it now. When them overtake you upon the, the, the wrong side of the road, you know, the people them who are come have to go over upon the sidewalk. Come see that I'm to a man, you know. The man have to crawl, go in car have to go up on top of the sidewalk, you know. Because he realized that the man had come straight at him. And you see when them overtake you, you're the problem. You, you, you will hurt me now. You see when them overtake you, somebody down at the road are wait for the bus, you know. And them just come stop right in front of everybody. And you have your jaw breaks you now because if you lick the man in front of you, they must say you're too near to the man, you know. And not that you're too near to the man, you know. Is that the coaster man stop in front of you and pick up somebody when you stop, you stop sign up there, you know. Him not supposed to stop there, you know. And you see when them pick up the person, and you overtake him now because he stop. It's him that again pay your tail now. Because him see the next coaster bus that drive fast and go down the sun now. So he must go catch up back the coaster bus. It's where them things that come from. Meanwhile, a big sound I play. A alkaline music I play on the bus. And everybody are going like, yes, okay. It's today we're going to die. So we could just have fun. I got dance and I'll be merry. No, Jamaican people. I, I'm sick. We see Krasta. There's no way. Oh, 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 the people there. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I'm going to talk about crime. Because everything right now is crime. Believe you, everything is crime now. Because I'm a man, you stop at a stoplight. And you got a line where the stoplight says you must stop. And you stop there. And a taxi man just come right round in front of you now and stop. And you say, but oh, I'm go over there. So you know, to say, the car will turn left. He must go in the way. And the car will come across the other way. He must go in the way too. Nobody not there to say, boss, go back, sir. I'll stand up there, sir, and come over here, sir. Because the police them is never around when certain things are supposed to take place. You hear them talk about, they must stop people. They must they have more duty upon bike. How the hell duty upon bike I got stop accident? What is foolishness? I who say that? I sleepy? Mm -hmm. I sleepy, I said, but duty upon bike. Duty upon bike not going to stop accident. What going to prevent a whole heap of death from the bike is to make the law run its course. You must have an helmet when you drive, when you are on bike. You can't have a woman on a bike with her bump out a door. And when breeze are blow, you see everything underneath there and when underneath there. And I hear go, and the man just a, and I go through the bike, you gotta go through, go through, go through. And none of them have an helmet. And boof, you crash. Bike lick up, boof, boof, boof. Two people dead. You want to say, boy, I right now. The helmet, the helmet save life. I tell you that bike people. Helmet save life. Because most of the time when a bike man crash, I'm Eddie Malik. I just think that the people that are idiots, why don't they must wear a helmet? Them are no idiot. Them know what will happen when a bike crash. They are two-wheel it upon and a tricycle. A two-wheel the bike upon. And them have a way if you go between the, the, the. You know how much time I'm afraid when I see a bike man nowadays, you know. Yeah, because he might come, because you look by your rearview mirror and you see him come through the tool, the little traffic there, and I said, please, don't make something happen. We are going to come too much over that side, you know. Because that youth here, yeah, really and truly, is a dead wish him have. Ah, yes, sir. May I tell you. So you have a wife named Alan Martin now. Alan Martin, go around the place. He said, Mr. You and I here. He means more Marcus Gavin than everybody else. And go around and match up every kind of meeting we keep in Jamaica as it come on to Marcus Gavi. And come down here now, come disrespect the little daughter them down here. So, but, um, I refer my bring too much foreign speaker and all them things. Him in my dad said, we realize that the thing say Pan Africanism. Pan Africanism mean all African, you include all Africans. Whether them come from America, Africa, Caribbean, or wherever them come from. And most of the speakers them were not. American, most of the speakers was Jamaican, just that them live outside of Jamaica. You never even know that. The main speaker, them, Julius Garvey, is a Jamaican, we live outside of Jamaica. The head of the UNI here is a Jamaican who come from, 
from, from, from Grand Spain. The, the, the bishop lady from England is a Jamaican who live in England. And him come up here, come create whole heap of excitement down at the place. Him lucky say I never outside when him a create a problem. Because him a disrespect the little daughter them. And little daughter them, they will be used to him. I don't know, say that he's a brother of a girl all over the place. I, 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 and create problem for everybody. Where he say him is more Marcus Garvey than everybody else. It's a terrible brother that. Terrible brother. I hear some of that, you know. Alan Martin, him name, you know. He hears. The man feet need to go get a life and a wife. Yeah, man, him need to go get a life and a wife. Because him life is just going around and making mischief in all the different meetings. I can't forget the year when my mother used to work in a bookshop and him come in there and disrespect my mother. I have to run him down and then run, go down, down his road. When looking, I never catch him in a rasta. Yeah, man, my mother, disrespect my mother. Him say, from that, I have him half, you know, but him never remember say, me have him half from them time then, and the man is like, end up at things where I keep, you know. He mash up one program when I did have up at university one time, you know. And him come down here the other day, and I disrespect the program down here, so, you know, and, I, and I tell Cabo, say, tell security if you throw him outside. Because if I don't, I throw him not outside through the gate, I throw him over the wall. Total disrespect. Total disrespect. The same youth on him, Alan Martin, I talk about. I call him name on the radio because most Jamaican know say it's like a disgruntled, disruptive boy where we just go all over the place and go like say, Mr. Marcus Gavi, I can Marcus Gavi this and Marcus Gavi that. I do have no respect. No respect for the ones them who is doing something to aid in his thinking where him only think. And him is one of them who litter the place. By just being here. You know, it's a terrible thing, man. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. It's like when I'm called anarchy. You do what you want to do. There's no central authority. There's no governance. There's no authority that is guiding the people. Them go to church and it's the same thing. The church now come like funeral, you know. I read. Church come like funeral because. You see some woman are wear some things go at church and all that you say, but wait, it's where I go on. Because the same clothes them are wear a dance. Some of them look like they come from dance on Saturday night and just go at, go at church Sunday morning. I mean, I say, but wait, how oh, oh, the thing gets so? God asleep. I got love dance and all this. Like how me love Lisa and I, oh gosh, man. We have a talk about Lisa and I. Whoa, yes. You see it? You see it now? You see what I mean? I saw they said to each other. You know? Eh? It's like everything just get away, brethren. Everything get away. I mean, me know say Lisa and I not dress that way up on the road. But oh, she dressed on the beach, you know. Me see woman on the road look so, you know. All them have over, it's like a mesh thing over when she have on, you know. So she dip on the beach with that. Me, me, me not to mind that. You know what I mean? You know, me, 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 me I wonder how long this thing can go on still. <laughs> you know, we don't know if it can go on too long. It can't say can't touch it, you know. But this time it's more brazen, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. How long ago you do that? How long? You remember the father when he come out, then see it? How long he come out? He <laughs> come out to the target. <laughs> no, we have to say how long. No, you see, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh long. Say, look at how. Don't disturb the man, their mind, you know. That is where that is where that is where I'm saying them to look here. You see, when you look like that as a as a public figure, why am I telling you that figure the public picture? You know, see, you see when you have that figure, how long you think that can hide? You can't hide that the figure so long. You know that son? You can't hide that the figure how long, you know. At least you never walk go one such a night. <laughs> like come to see over, over the far road. Just for us, uh, the thing get away. The thing get away. Me don't know it's where I go on. Me don't know it's where I go on. Come here, say no. How long this thing I go on? Tell me. Because here is our friend now. Why, Lisa, me love you. Me love Lisa, Anna. Don't show me no more, no, Bridget. You show me the long time one. Me talk about the one this week. I mean, I wonder how long it, yes, how long. <laughs> why, why we keep us a whole long? <laughs> 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 
No, Ola, Ola, this can't go on because no, Lisa, 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 of the man crazy, man. Lisa, of the man crazy because you know, say, it's a man of the cloth and film thing, he might have a white gown, you know, and it's long and right to go down and film foot like some of the things when we wear, too, you know, with a blue belt around it. But may I say, how long? In can he can laugh <laughs> because the second time she did it and he come out get it. You can't imagine the next time. You can't just imagine when she come out now. Me go, anytime I see her again, I go walk with my camera right now. I go walk with my camera because I'm going to book her in some strange places where I can't get a little snap. I tell you, Lisa, you look good. <laughs> Lisa, Anna, you look good. Trust me. And how long I ever see her? So I said that. How long I ever see that? Believe you me, trust me. Mm-mm. Boy, I'm mean, telling you, you could have entered enter Miss World again and again and again and again, man. I don't know how long you'll last, but <laughs> it, 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 it nah, it nah. Stand right with the, 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 the father. It's not standing right at all. You know, it's not standing right at all, boy, because believe you me, when I saw that picture, I said, okay, Muta, because... My wife sit on beside me and I look at and say, hey, me say, hey, you think me I got to take off my high half of it? <laughs> me not take off my high half of that picture, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry that I can't. When she take them pictures, she must call me. I want her to call me when she taking these pictures, man. Because it's one of these pictures I want in my life. You see, I want kind of these pictures in my life because, believe you me, it's, it's, it's a strange woman. I don't know her, but I hear about her. And now she's bearing herself, and I don't know how long I'm going to really stand up <laughs> and take this thing. <laughs> you understand? You understand? Yeah, you understand what that happened? <laughs> Samantha, 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 no easy, no? <laughs> Samantha, no easy at all. No, we don't, we don't say no. We don't, we don't. How long you were standing there, Samantha? How long you were standing there? About two minutes. Okay. No, you, you, you stand up there. I tell you, say, me know say how long I, 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 I stand up. Me know if you stand up when him do that look on her, but for the, how much about two years ago she did that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and him complain about it, you know. I wonder how long if him was standing or sitting when he was seeing this next one. But, eh? I wonder how long he was standing when, when he was looking at this next picture here because I tell you, the picture is not easy. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, trust me. Believe you me. You have the past giddy. You have the father giddy. You should have never do that. Because I'm not giddy. No, I'm not giddy. But obviously I'm giddy. You know, see, it, 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 it's tore up a certain... If you read him comments, if you read him comments, you know, you can realize, say, it, 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 it carry him back to something where he don't want to go back to. You know, psychologically, it could carry him. And him, maybe no one accept it because he is such a pious man of the class. And, you know, him... Because I love him, you know. Yeah, man, he, he do more for poor people in Jamaica than the, the, the minister them. The minister. The, the minister. And nobody no vote for him. They have a group of people up a, up a, up a, gun, not, you know, go, gun town, and, you know, Golden Spring there. They have a place up there where them plant food and them help the poor. And I love that. I love how them do it. But there's something that Lisa bring up, bring up out of him. That why would I love she bring it out of me too? Yeah, would I love she bring it out of me? Click it, click it. This is the stepping razor, the art of war. You know, something goes wrong across my mind, I know. Father Olang, I want to know if him did a lay down when him see the picture and then him stand up. Because really and truly, we don't know, oh, it's an Instagram picture. It, like, it, it never comes out of the Gleena. The picture comes out of the Gleena. It comes out of the star. The person who show father that should be arrested. Believe you me. Anybody who show father that picture should be arrested. Because I can I can just I can just watch father lay down and somebody just come in and say, Father, you have to see this. Let me say what? Let me say it's that is that young lady again, you know. She's at it again. Oh really? Let me see it, let me see it, let me see it. When him look at it, him just stand up immediately. I'll say, Oh my God, this is getting from bad to worse. And the mind start to trickle, 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 trickle. Them should arrest the person who show father that. Trust me. Them should arrest him. Anyway.
Ah, maybe it's a woman show him. I don't know. Maybe it's a woman show the picture. Short history about Amy Ashwood Garvey, Marcus Garvey's first wife. So I want to repeat that broadcast here now. Very, very, very in-depth. Welcome to Jamaican Roots and Culture. I'm Pat Clark. Women are known to play valuable roles in the lives of men. Arguably, the greatest black philosopher ever, Marcus Mosiah Garvey, had the honor of sharing his life with two women. Coincidentally, both had the first name Amy. Let's look at the role of his first wife. Amy Ashwood Garvey was a Jamaican Pan-Africanist, activist, director of the Black Star Line Shipment Corporation, and founder of the Negro World newspaper. She was married to Marcus Garvey between 1919 and 1922. Amy Ashwood was born in Port Antonio, Jamaica on January 10, 1897, the only daughter of the three children of businessman Michael Delbert Ashwood and his wife Modriana Thompson. As a child, Amy was told by her grandmother that she was of Ashanti descent. Taken to Panama as an infant, she returned in 1904 to Jamaica and attended the Westwood High School for Girls in Trelawney, where she met Marcus Garvey, with whom she founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNIA, in 1914. Amy Ashwood organized a women's section of the UNIA and in 1918 she moved to the United States where she worked as Garvey's aide and as a secretary of the UNIA's New York City branch. Amy Ashwood and Marcus Garvey married on December 25, 1919, but the marriage quickly broke down, ending in divorce. Garvey divorced Ashwood in Missouri in 1922 and quickly married Amy Jakes, Ashwood's former roommate and maid of honor. Amy Ashwood reportedly never accepted the divorce and contended to the end of her days that she was the real Mrs. Garvey. Ashwood became a director of the Black Star Line Steamship Corporation and founded the Negro World newspaper. She moved to Great Britain where she struck up a friendship with Lapido Solanke. Together they founded the Nigerian Progress Union and she later supported Solanke's West African Students Union. But in 1924 she returned to New York where she produced comedies with her companion Sam Manning, a Trinidadian Calypso singer, who was one of the world's pioneering black recording artists. Among the productions was Brown Sugar, a jazz musical production at the Lafayette Theatre, which featured Mannings and Fats Waller and his band. In 1934, Amy Ashwood returned to London and with Manning opened the Jazz Florence Mills Social Club, a jazz club on Carnaby Street, which became a gathering spot for supporters of Pan-Africanism. Amy Ashwood helped to establish the International African Friends of Abyssinia with C.L.R. James, the International African Service Bureau, with figures like George Padmore, Chris Brathwaite and Jomo Kenyatta, and the London Afro Women's Centre. Amy Ashwood spent some time in 1939 in New York, then went to Jamaica, where she and other prominent people formed the short-lived J.A.G. Smith Political Party. In 1944, Amy Ashwood again returned to New York, where she joined the West Indians National Council and the Council on African Affairs, and also campaigned for Adam Clayton Powell Jr., a U.S. politician. Amy Ashwood Garvey chaired the first session of the 5th Pan-African Congress in Manchester in 1945. In 1946, Ashwood moved to Liberia for three years where she began a relationship with the country's president, William Tubman. Whilst there, she researched the conditions for women in Nigeria and she gave talks to women's groups there. She then returned to London, helping to set up the Afro People's Centre in Ladbroke Grove in 1953. Amy Ashwood was a friend of Claudia Jones and was on the editorial board of the Brixton-based West Indian Gazette, founded by Jones in 1958. In the wake of the Notting Hill riots in 1958, Amy Ashwood co-founded the Association for the Advancement of Colored People. In 1959, she chaired an inquiry into race relations following the murder of of Kelso Cochrane in London. According to Mrs. Garvey, her grandmother told her that she was a descendant from Joven, 
and that her grandmother was in fact a captive from Japan. In 1924, she met J.B. de Croix in London and told him her grandmother's story, and de Croix confirmed to her that Japan is in fact an Ashanti city-state. Fifteen years later, Amy Ashwood also met another Ghanaian barrister, Kwabena Kese. In 1946, Barrister Kese took Mrs. Garvey to Joven, leading to the verification of her granny the Baz account. The Ashanti people are commonly known to Jamaicans as the freedom fighters that fought against slavery and oppression. The national heroine Nanny of the Maroons is also an Ashanti queen. Many Jamaicans, even non-Maroons, can also make accounts of having family of Ashanti descent. Amy Ashwood Garvey returned to Liberia in 1960, but was back in London four years later and spent the next three years mostly in Jamaica and Trinidad. In 1967 to 68, she toured the United States. With failing health, she returned to Jamaica in 1968 and died in Kingston on May 3rd the following year, aged 72. Amy Ashwood Garvey was buried on Sunday, May 11, 1969, in Kingston's Calvary Cemetery. And now to end Jamaican roots and culture, here is our famous quotation from the Black Diaspora. The friend of a fool is a fool. The friend of a wise person is another wise person. A proverb from the Hosea tribe of Africa. For Jamaican Roots and Culture, I'm Pat Clark. The informative information presented in this video is motivational and is positively aimed at inspiring, educating and entertaining the viewers with the cutting edge of critical reasoning. If you enjoy the contents on the Black Radar YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to show your support.